Hello, and welcome to another broadcast with Gian. Watching this program, you are going to be inspired, challenged, and enlightened. Now, let me introduce to you our host, Gian. Envy is such a bad thing in the life of many people and maybe you are one of those who, unfortunately, some others envy you. <laughs> what are you going to do about it? It is really interesting when you think about the reasons why somebody will have envy about you. You know, sometimes it could be for your looks or your intelligence or your family, your education or many other things but there are occasions where people just have envy for the simple reason that you are happy and they just don't like that about you you know it, it sounds like a little bit uh, ir unreasonable right why would you have envy of me just because I am a happy person you might say but it's true and on the other hand, you know very well that there are many, many people that just don't care about you. <laughs> it's just like that. There are individuals that probably don't have any interest in knowing about you. And then you are in this place where, where you just don't know even how to operate, even with your own family or your friends or in your workplace. Because sometimes you are hearing people talking about you and you just wonder what's the deal. There is a wonderful, wonderful writing from a Spanish author. It, the story is Don Quixote. This author writes in one of the passages when Don Quixote says to Sancho, Sancho, the dogs are barking because we are passing by. And that is exactly what happens in your life. You know, sometimes you are wondering why is that people are criticizing you. And, uh, well, sometimes it's simply because they don't have anything else to do. And, and you don't need to be upset about it, honestly. Because what you need to do is to learn to live with opposition. You have to learn to live with opposition. You believe certain things. A lot of people don't believe the same things. And then suddenly there is opposition there. What's the problem with that? You work in a company that you provide certain services. And uh, there are individuals that they just are competitors or simply they don't want you to be in, in that particular position or anything in your own company in your own workplace you can have a position sometimes the position comes from your supervisor that is envious of your talents and skills and that happens constantly in different places people that don't let others grow they are afraid they feel threatened by other employees in the company so you have to learn to live with opposition and eventually you need to learn to become strong. You have to be very, very strong in life if you want to have a long life. Do, do you understand the concept? If you want to have a long life that is fruitful, successful, with many wonderful things, you have to become strong. Because if you are weak, your body is not going to, to be able to sustain you for many years. If you are mentally weak, you are not going to be able to overcome all the obstacles and challenges that life will present to you. Especially in your 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. You have to be strong. 
in order to have a long life that is very fruitful, prosperous, and successful. And the only way that you are going to become strong is when you get to learn yourself and appreciate in yourself your skills, your talents, and you have to learn to like you and applaud you yourself from time to time and say, that was good. I did good. Envy is such a bad thing, my friend. And you cannot remove it. It's like if you want to remove mosquitoes from the environment. It is impossible. <laughs> you just need to learn how to live with them, right? How to be protected from them and on and on. Envy is the same thing. You cannot afford having bad feelings towards individuals that have envy of you. They are envious and uh, even they say things to others uh, to hurt you. And the reason why you cannot do that is because bad feelings inside of you eventually are going to corrupt your mind, your feelings, and eventually your body. Many illnesses are the result of bad feelings dwelling inside of you. Do you know that? That is why it's so important that you continuously are forgiving people for this and that. Forgive everybody. Let it go. Forgive yourself and learn to become strong. There is one scripture in the book of the prophet Nehemiah, chapter 8, verse 10, that I would like to read for you. Listen to this. It says, Enjoy your good food and share some with those who didn't have anything. Don't be sad. This is a special day for the Lord, and He will make you happy and strong. You will find in God the source of your strength. And one important thing is, enjoy your food. Do you realize your body will always need energy? When you learn to enjoy your food, having good time when you are about to eat, have a peaceful conversation, joyful conversations when you are about to eat and learn to share that with others, you know what? That is a big blessing. You enjoy that in the presence of God and you will feel how He will make you happy and strong. Thank you for watching another broadcast with Gian. The schedule of this program Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Check the website mygiancarlo.com for more videos. We hope to see you soon.